Hi, Daryl the Clerk from East Hill Community Church in beautiful Vernon, BC. I'm here at the Farmer's Market, which is always a very special place to be. Uh, certainly on Canada Day, a uh, long weekend or week. And it's always special at a Farmer's Market, isn't it? I mean, you bump into people you know, you get to uh, meet the people who grew the produce or who uh, made what you'd like. Um, you can bargain a little if you buy a lot. And there's people here of every age, from kids to the young at heart. And in fact, you can even buy, uh, eat what you buy right here on the spot. I saw a kid walking out of here with a half-eaten quart of strawberries and very red fingers. Why not? There's kind of a campy feel here at the farmer's market, isn't it, that you just can't beat. Well, as a kid, I used to sell uh, flowers out of the back of my grandpa's van with him at the Dunville, Ontario Farmer's Market. And it's a van, in fact, that looks a lot like this one. And so uh, it's a trip down memory lane here uh, to be here. But, um, you know, in Matthew 21, Jesus was also at a market. Uh, Jesus went to markets, we know, uh, because that's where everybody then got their fresh produce and all manner of household things. But in Matthew 21, we hear that someone had the bright idea uh, to sell things at the temple in a place where people were supposed to be praying. It was, of course, a good alibi. You know, they wanted to make it convenient for people to buy sacrifices. Not a bad idea, I guess, if it's by the temple. Uh, maybe in the parking lot, but in the temple grounds where people could be praying because, well, you know, people don't come to pray anymore, so why not? Well, Jesus could see that not praying left people spiritually hungry. You shouldn't leave worship or go through life feeling spiritually hungry any more than you should leave a farmer's market feeling physically hungry. Because if your walk with God has quiet moments of, of real peace and blissful and even honest, raw soul searching, and of course, healthy inspiration, well, then your life and, and your work takes on a whole new value. Suddenly you're not just selling to make a living, which is valuable and honorable enough, but you're now God's way of answering people's prayers for their daily bread. Or your talents in whatever job you have are not just to serve yourself, but to meet people where they're at and meet real needs. And so Jesus in that temple market flipped those tables right over and money and vegetables and birds and animals were flying everywhere and people got mad at him of course and i'm definitely not going to try flipping over anything here because this parking lot is a great place for a farmer's market it's also a great place to be reminded how much god wants to spend time with you in prayer no matter where you are in life or with him